Today we're going to be looking at a $20 keyboard. Um, this keyboard right here, $20 at Dollar General, not bad. However, is it as good as it says it is for a $20 keyboard? Um, this keyboard right here cost me about $50, Scorpio. Came with a headset and everything, and it was actually a really good buy. Um, but we're gonna actually give this keyboard a run for its money. We're gonna see how good it is and if it's worth the price. Uh, let's get started, shall we? Um, this keyboard here, we're gonna move this. Because here it is. Now, we're looking immediately, and you see the mouse and the mouse pad has LED lights. However, I look at the mouse pad, I try to use it, it, it works great, great quality material for the mouse pad, but it's this. You notice something? What's well, not right here? When you run an LED like this, you don't, you want it to go all the way through. That's what you'd be expecting, right? I mean, look at the box. But apparently we can change this to where it changes color. Look. Just look at that. Nothing. Absolutely disgracious. Now we're going to be looking at the keyboard here. As you notice the keyboard's not lighting up. Uh, there is a protective film here. There we go. Um, right off the bat, you notice this is not even square on there. It's kind of hard to tell. You can actually see this here. It's not square. But you have the number lock, which works. Um, caps locks. It's easy to tell. No. And so we're going to start with uh, trying to get the LEDs out. Mine, you don't have to have scroll lock to turn LEDs or anything. It's actually really nice. But when we go to look here, nothing. And we see these, something. Um, but you have to have the scroll lock, which basically means you can't scroll up or down, which sucks. I mean, why would you want that why would you have that that it, it almost makes it impossible to play a game with these beautiful leds um on the keyboard it looks amazing the mouse not really but yeah, we're just looking here it feels it doesn't feel bad but it doesn't feel all right not bad at all now we're going to be starting with the keyboard burn test. Um, a lot of keyboards overheat. Actually, that's one of the things a lot of gaming companies have to keep in mind. Because these keys will overheat when you're playing like really fast where you have to go like this. Here. They overheat pretty quick. So, what I like to do is just like go to the bottom here see the lighter. We're going to just see here on the bottom where the heat is. You can feel that. And it's actually not that bad here. Um, you can actually tell there's actually a heat pipe or something in there. Um, you can actually feel that. Um, there's something in there helping cool down the keyboard. Okay, then well, let's see if these keys still work. I'm gonna send a message here. All these keys still work. Perfect. Now, the difference between mechanical and regular keyboard, this is the keyboard I use for my computer personally. Um, it works great. It does. And the flex in it, it could break. Yeah, easily. This could break, but I'm not I'm not too worried about that. What we're worried about here is this. I'm not gonna break my personal keyboard. 
but yeah not bad so we're gonna pop off the key so you can see on these ones the automated keyboards don't have keys like these that pop off that's only mechanical keyboards which is a good thing because then you can stiffen up your keys um, one thing I noticed when I uh, tried using this I actually like the stiffness of the keys it makes it really good to use um, there's like no difference at all in the stiffness and it makes it really good to use oh and for you to say that just so you don't say I'm not stopping the mouse pad here's a close look up at it here's the LEDs they don't spread at all like they should be um, that's why you pay a lot for a good LED mouse pad fiber though <laughs> the, the fiber is like really good I, I like the fiber and personally if the LEDs weren't a kick breaker for me 100% would be perfect so next we're gonna be doing the stress test the stress test is basically a test where I a lot of gamers get angry they like to squeeze their mouses really hard and all that so we're actually gonna see if these my if this mouse will break if the keyboard will break from being slammed but we aren't gonna slam it we're just gonna bend it Right there already we have LEDs that have turned off. They turn back on. Flex from the front, okay. Flex from the back, no crush. Right there. Right there's your giant weak spot. You pull these back easily and this entire thing should pop off. But you can see it's not that good this is a uh, very cheap plastic if you this is the tap test if you can if you can actually hear that you can actually hear the spring back it, it, it's not good especially when you listen to this tap test of my gaming mouse in the same exact spot too Show you, I'm not kidding you. Same exact spot. Zero spring back, and that's kind of what you want because otherwise, this thing's when you actually click, it's gonna take longer to reset the clip than click than it is to uh, actually get it. Um, so, next up for here, we're gonna have the keyboard test. I'm gonna keep the LEDs on for this, and we're just gonna give it a nice grip here. Bend. Now let's see if that S key works. Um, we're gonna we're gonna try and get it one more bend from the front. See this. See that? That is a curve. If I kept bending this harder, like you would do if you raged. This thing would break 100%. And although I'm not going to do it, um, you can tell. This thing will not survive a round of gaming at all. It's a cool concept they have here for a $20 keyboard, especially when you actually try it out. Really great concept, but it's just. It's not a good keyboard to use on a computer. Now, of course, we won't know this until we actually try it in a game, but I, I don't even want to do that. That's how bad this keyboard is. So, right about there, would I recommend this keyboard with a USB optical mouse, full-size keyboard, traction mouse pad now that one I agree with but you universal USB input right 
RBG color changing lights. Good. So not once does Vibe, Vibe Gaming, actually uh, lie about their things. They don't lie about it at all. You got what you bought, but for twenty dollars, you would think you would see a lot better. Ellie, like a lot better. The mouse pad, I'm not really complaining because again, it's twenty dollars. It's not like it's fifty. It's not like it's seventy. But so I'm not complaining about the mouse pad. But the, this, this here is like a five dollar mouse. I bent that up because it was broke. But that's more structurally sound than other mice. And this keyboard, almost no flex if you were to bend it. Curve bend? Yeah, flex. But a regular bend? No. Now, let's give this keyboard the curve bend before we actually end the video here. And you can see it bends relatively bad but will it break if you were to slam it let's find out Ooh, we got a crack there and that is where we're going to stop as soon as you hear that first crack we stop and that's just a sign that this keyboard is cheap and I could find plenty of keyboards I would recommend that aren't as cheap as this. And aren't going to be like this. Because, you know what they say. But, then again, not all gamers can afford or have credit cards. And if all they have is a... Yeah, this is only stuck on red, which tells me the LEDs in here pretty much stopped working. Um, but that gives you the hint that this thing is stupid. Oh, we got green there. Back to red. Okay. Um, back to green. Okay. Now, would I recommend this? If you're near a Walmart or any other store like that, no, 0%. But if all you have is a Dollar General, I actually have, oh, it's that right next to me. If all you have is a Dollar General, it's not a bad buy. Especially when you don't have a credit card, you're a kid, and you just really want to be like those big streamers. Yeah. So... Maybe for your first keyboard, it's not a bad buy. You get everything you need. You can get a nice small $15 gaming headset from there, which works really nice until one of the earphones goes out. But besides that, it, it's not a bad buy. It's, it's not a bad buy at all. But would I recommend it? Yes, I would. For small gamers, like pe people who live in small towns, for kids like that are 15, 16, that don't have access to driving, who don't have access to a Walmart or anything that might have a better keyboard. So, yes, I do recommend this as a first gaming keyboard. Besides that, no, don't grab it. Grab a different one, grab something out of Walmart. Is this keyboard not really good? Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Have a wonderful day. Peace out. Okay, I'm I'm, I'm trying to use this to like do it. And my mouse. Is just... Go. Anyway, like I'm saying, I'm trying to use my mouse here. Sensitivity is like really good.